We all know that this has been an especially dark time in Birmingham's history, in our nation's history. This virus has taken so much from us. For some, it has taken our livelihood. For others, it has taken our loved ones. It has robbed us of our sense of control, meaning, and order in this world. To the class of 2020, it certainly feels that the virus has taken from you your ability to have a meaningful end to your senior year. You might feel that you were robbed of your classroom experiences, of your education, but what you must remember, what we all must remember, is that you had been working hard for years to build up the skills necessary to succeed on your own. You were faced with an overwhelming challenge and this was your time to demonstrate your individuality and independence. And you thrived on your own because you are smart, skilled, and above all, strong. And this was an opportunity to prove that. So perhaps now is the time to focus on what has not been taken from you. What do we still have? What do you, the graduating class of 2020, still have? You have knowledge. You hold inside of you all the lessons from your time here. You have hope. Hope for a future in which you will demonstrate that knowledge in which you will serve your community with that knowledge. And you have the undying spirit of a patriot. Although geographically separate, you are united as a senior class. Because Birmingham is more than just the campus on which you attended your classes. Birmingham is heart. It is spirit. And you will take this with you wherever you go. These are all the things that have not been taken from you, that can never be taken from you, because you bleed blue and you sweat gold, because you are and will always be a patriot. Good evening. I would like to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 at Birmingham Community Charter High School. Buenas tardes. Me gustaría darle la bienvenida a la ceremonia de graduación de clase 2020 en Birmingham Community Charter High School. Добрый вечер. Я приветствую вас на церемонии, посвященной выпускному классу 2020 года старшей школы Birmingham. مساء الخير أهلا وسهلا فيكم لحفلة التخرج لسنة 2020 The Birmingham Community Charter High School.
the class of 2020, family, friends, and alumni, I'm Ari Bennett, the proud principal of Birmingham Community Charter High School. I want to thank everyone for being here on this special evening, and a special thanks to parents, guardians, family, and friends that have contributed to the success of our graduates. I want to welcome you to the celebration of the class of 2020, and what a year it's been. It's incredible when I reflect to think that 31 years ago, almost to the day, I was a graduating senior at Birmingham High School. I was you, and feel that today more strongly than you'll ever know. Now I know what you're thinking. I did not have to deal with a pandemic, that's true. In fact, some of you may think that you were unlucky to have an international health crisis during your senior year. I'm not gonna say that you were lucky, but there is always a bright side when you look for it. I promise you that there will always be something positive to find in every bad situation. In fact, remember this, you will know that you're becoming the best you when after suffering a setback, it has become a habit to start searching for and reflecting about how you can use the experience to fuel your growth or next great success. I'll give you an example. There is an upside to this being your senior year. Your class will forever have a competitive advantage over all the Birmingham classes that have come before you. You've had to learn the hard way with COVID-19, that in 2020, we have to be flexible and adapt to a fast changing world. It took me about 10 years through a lot of pain and grief before I really internalized that notion. You were gifted a head start in making sense of the world. Now, because of what you've been through, I'm gonna refrain from the usual graduation cliches and aphorisms that are common this time of year. I wanna be real with you, real about the world outside Birmingham and perhaps provide a small window into what is possible. Most of you have plans for life after school. Some will work, others will study, some will stay home, others will move away. My advice is to be nimble, to keep your options open. I thought I would major in business and finish UC Santa Barbara in four years. I dropped out in two years and moved to Japan to teach English. After being out of college for three years, I returned to UC Santa Barbara and shocked my family by earning my major in English, not business. When I graduated from high school, education was at the bottom of my list of potential careers. I was sure that I would be a businessman, the single-minded goal to make a lot of money. However, this goal created one, one of the first major conflicts in my life between my head and my heart. My head wanted the money but my heart wanted to help and to serve. In this case, I went with my heart, knowing that for me to do something day in and day out, through illness and adversity, my performance could only be sustained if my heart and soul was truly, truly believed in what I do. The 17-year-old high school graduate with aspirations to be a businessman turned into a 28-year-old first-year teacher who absolutely loved teaching. Change may not come as profoundly for you as it came for me, but it might, and I want you to be prepared. That being said, there's no doubt that moments of uncertainty will come your way sooner or later, and no one will be able to solve the conflict but you. Like your parents, a lot of us at Birmingham want to walk by your side and help you avoid potholes, obstacles, and adversity. It hurts us to see when people we care about are struggling. But just like your parents, it's time for us to step aside, knowing that you will fall and you will hurt. Not because you did something wrong, but because we all fall, we all fail, and we all hurt. This is the real human condition, and it's actually a good thing. We learn from failure, grow stronger from hurts, and hold our head higher after falling. If there is one thing I want you to take from the speech, it's to know that that's true, to believe it, to live that way, it's this belief that helps us get up when we're knocked down and try again when we fail. This is the secret sauce behind success. So perhaps more than any graduating class before you, you've begun to experience these real world concepts. And when we combine your achievements, your accomplishments, your perseverance, which helped you get to this day with your maturity and deeper understanding of the world at an earlier age, we have a combination of features that positions this class of 2020 
to take the world by storm and to make the tens of thousands of alumni that have come before you so proud of this class and so excited to see what you will accomplish. Congratulations, graduates. I'm proud of you.
Good evening to the 2020 graduating class of Birmingham Community Charter High School. It is an honor to be delivering the first ever recorded commencement speech. Believe us when we say we understand this is not how you wanted your journey to end. We didn't want it to end this way either. However, life is full of many adventures. Some you have already experienced and many more that you are about to begin. But let's take this moment to look back now that this chapter has ended. For many of you, four years ago, you became patriots. You were introduced to Birmingham through freshman orientation. We ask you to come here, meet other incoming freshmen, and get to know the campus, even though we know what you really wanted to do. And that was binge watch 13 Reasons Why or Stranger Things. Some of you walk these hallways anxiously trying to find oral arts one and two. Some of you tried out for the sports team like football and wondered why doesn't Coach Rose ever smile? This was the beginning of finding out what it meant to become a patriot. Meeting new friends, trying out for sports, worrying about Miss Flynn's essays, listening to Despacito over and over again, and then Old Town Road, and then anything from Drake or Bad Bunny. There was a double block math and English classes picking a side when Colin Kaepernick took a knee, getting your first piece of Supreme merch, playing with your fidget spinner, going to see an Avengers movie, or the return of the Incredibles, or watching the ending of the Game of Thrones. Listen to Miss Reesboard scream, get to class, hurry up! Everyone trying to sign up for Miss Weidra's AP Psych class, and then dropping it when you found out you didn't get her. Fortnite took over the world, but Clash Royale still dominated while you tried to play one more game in your math class. There was the Tide Pod Challenge. There was the Box Challenge. And then, who can forget, Kiki, do you love me? Woo Having four principals in four years. Tardy sweeps, pep rallies. Shout out to Brianna for being the best host ever at a pep rally. Yes, I will take that McGriddle for saying that. Thank you. TikTok was an app that you made fun of for a year, but now you all are addicted to it. Miss Cronstadt's morning announcements, stressing over college apps, completing your FAFSA, getting your college acceptance letters, making commitments to the military to serve your country, getting your first jobs, and all our back to school dances. This year's homecoming queen and king, Jay Johnson and Laren Maldonado, running freshman orientation with knights and lady, Jay Lee. We got the Rams back. I think we kind of got the Chargers. And man, the Dodgers came close twice. But Ron finally comes to LA, but we lost our favorite Laker, the Black Mamba. Then there were the fabulous extracurricular programs we have here. The Play Pro efforts, Chicago, Adams Family, Annie, the dedication of Zach Duran and Francisco Martinez shaving their heads to play Daddy Warbucks. Band and dance placing first in competitions, thanks to Lizzie, Jasmine, and Helen. Our choir dominating their performances. Boys basketball wins a championship. Boys and girls wrestling win championships. Boys and girls lacrosse win championships. Cheerleaders, championships. Girls water polo championships. Girls volleyball division three champs. Boys soccer winning championships. They were led by Danny Nino, Hector Villanueva, Jordan Ramirez. Our baseball team winning three championships in a row, thanks to Eric Rivas, Gabino Rosales, Albert Garcia. And God, we are cut short of winning our fourth in a row. And this year, our varsity football team won their first ever Open Division City title, led by City Player of the Year, Mason White. Winners get their best lessons from a defeat. Winners work hard. Winners don't give up. Winners go the extra mile. Winners get scoreboard. Winners write history. All of these great lessons and memories came to a screeching halt on March 13th, our last day together as a Patriot family. For some of you, you couldn't wait to get out of here, but you weren't ready to leave that day. What was better, getting to see your friends every day or getting assigned a ton of homework in Google Classroom? Was it better going to some of your favorite classes like culinary, ceramics, choir, medical profession, engineering, and Mr. Weber's AP environmental class? Or was it better attending your next scheduled Zoom call? Prom was canceled, grad night canceled, graduation canceled. These were the events that you worked for. They were your rites of passage. They were taken from you. It makes you realize a few things. 
Sometimes your journey is not going to always go the way you want it to. Bumps in the road, you guys. What are you going to learn from it? How did you handle it? Did you sleep in till 1 o'clock in the afternoon and fall behind on work? Or did you wake up, get your stuff done, try to find out what else can I get done today? What can I accomplish? What's going to make me better? Your next journey is about to begin. Some of you have dreams of moving out and going to college, which might be put on hold for a while. Some of you have goals of becoming doctors, nurses, lawyers, engineers, police officers, actors, veterinarians, chefs, firefighters, even teachers. Are you gonna work for it? Are you gonna put in the hours to be good at it? What is your plan? Because if you don't have one, you better get one. Dreams are important, but turning those dreams into reality that's what is meaningful. Get to work on it now, because the longer you wait, the harder it's going to get. Don't worry, things will get back to normal. I promise you, we are resilient. We get knocked down, but we always get back up. That is what being a patriot is all about. So before being a patriot is too far in your rearview mirror, we leave you with this, be yourself. Period. Look people in the eye when you are talking to them. If you give your word, keep your word. Always be 10 minutes early. Make a plan and stick to it. Don't take life too seriously. I'm in flip flops. It's easier to keep going if you never stop. Woo! Laugh out loud every day. Strike first. Strike hard. No mercy. Invest in things that will pay off like your education, stocks and bonds, real estate, retirement, your community, relationships. Lastly, in the words of the great Frank Sinatra, you gotta love living, baby, cause dying is a pain in the ass. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. You made it. All of you, the Birmingham High School graduating class of 2020, congratulations. Well done. I'm Sally Field from the Birmingham High School graduating class of 1964. We faced challenging, tumultuous times then. Vietnam, assassinations, massive upheaval in society, but nothing like what you're facing now. I know you must be feeling frightened and disappointed, angry and confused, and who doesn't? But you must not feel defeated. Feel challenged. Put your head down and find things inside yourself you didn't know were there. Find something creative, something productive, something you hadn't thought of before. Be resilient, relentless, tenacious, and hopeful. These are strengths that will stay with you, that will define you the rest of your life. I have faith in you. I'm counting on you. Be safe. Be well. On you go, class of 2020. Bravo. To the class of 2020. Growing up these past 12 years, we have fantasized about the day we would finally be able to walk across the stage and receive our diploma. All year long, we continue to look forward to this dream. It is what kept us going and moving forward. A few months ago, when the finish line was in sight, we were living our normal teenage lives, going to games, dances, and pulling all-nighters to finish assignments that we waited until the last minute to complete. All this was our normal. Never in a million years did we imagine that our senior year would come to an end so quickly and so completely. There was still so much left for us to do. We pictured ourselves going to prom, grad night, senior sunset, and most importantly, walking across the stage at our graduation. But let's not let the fact that we might not be graduating in a traditional manner discredit the reality that each and every one of you have worked hard to be here. As a whole, we've gone through more than most senior classes in the last couple of months. There were times where we felt no motivation, but we kept on going. And even when everything was turned upside down for us, we stayed. 
determined to get our diploma, even if it meant doing so from a distance. This is all due to our resiliency and our ability to persevere, and it's something of which we should be proud. We all went through different battles and hardships to come to this milestone, but nonetheless, we made it. If there's anything I have learned this year, it's that we need to appreciate every moment. Live in the moment a little more because we never know how long it's going to last. I look forward to the day where we can get together with our friends and celebrate new experiences and successes. But for now, as we close one chapter and begin a new one, remember that we decide our destiny. Wherever life may take us, we can choose to keep going and keep striving for the best. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and I hope that you will keep overcoming. Now, I can finally say it. We did it, Class of 2020. Just stop your crying, it's a sign of the times. Welcome to the final show. Hope you're wearing your best clothes
everything I went through, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last time Let the light guide your way yeah. Hold every memory as you go And every road you take Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again We've come a long way From where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again When I see you again
you told me, babe Someday these will be the good old days All the love you won't forget And all these reckless nights you won't regret Someday soon your whole life's gonna change You'll miss the magic of these good old days I was thinking about the bands I was thinking about the bands We were underground Snow outside of first half, and it's one of my name and a star. Now look at where we at, still growing up, still growing up. I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become. Couldn't wait to get older, couldn't wait to be so. Now that I'm here, wishing I was still young. Those good old days. I wish somebody would have told me, babe, that someday these would be the good old days. All the love. Wish I didn't think I had the answers Wish I didn't drink all the that glass first Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would've gotten out of my show Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought I felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above the Moment frozen sneaking out and falling in love Me, you and our food time We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was Okay, graduates, now it's time to move your tassel. You're gonna take it, it should be on the right side of your cap, and we're gonna move it over to the left side, and this symbolizes that you have now officially graduated. Congratulations, class of 2020. Seuss, oh, the places you'll go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're, You're off, off to great, great places. places. You're off and away. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets. Look them over with care. And about some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not-so-smart street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. 
It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And then things start to happen. Don't worry. Don't stew. Just go right along. You'll start happening too. All of the places you'll go, you'll be on your way up. You'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar to high heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you'll top the rest. Except when you don't, because sometimes you won't. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang up and hang ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your gang will fly on. You'll be left in a lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump. And the chances are then that you will be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun. Unslumping yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could sprain both your elbow and chin. Do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much could you lose? How much could you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right in three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simple it's not, I'm afraid you will find. For a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you'll start into race. Down long wiggle roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles, cross weirdish wild space. Headed I fear toward the most useless place, the waiting place. For people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, or the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the phone to ring, or the snow to snow, or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for the wind to fly a kite. Or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting perhaps for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or a second chance. Everyone is just waiting. No, that's not for you. Somehow you'll escape all that waiting and staying. You'll find the bright places where boom bands are playing. With banner flip-flapping, once more, you'll ride high. Ready for anything under the sky, ready because you're that kind of guy. Oh, the places you'll go. There is fun to be done. There are points to be scored. There are games to be won. And the magical things that you do with that ball will make you the winningest winner of all. Fame. You'll be as famous as famous can be, but the whole wide world watching you win on TV. Except when they don't because sometimes they won't. I'm afraid that sometimes you'll play lonely games too, games you can't win because you'll play against you. All alone, whether you like it or not, alone will be something you'll be quite a lot. And when you're alone, there's a very good chance you'll meet things that scare you right out of your pants. There's some down the road, between hither and yon, who scare you so much you won't want to go on. But on you will go though the weather will be foul. On you will go, though your enemies will prowl. On you will go through the hack and crack howl. Onward, up many a frightening creek. Though your arms may get sore and your sneakers may leak. On and on you will hike, and I know you'll hike far, and face your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great talk. And remember that life's a great balancing act. 
Just never forget to be dexterous and deft. And never mix up your right foot with your left. And you will succeed. Yes, you will indeed. 98 and three quarter percent guaranteed. Kid, you'll move mountains. So, be your name Buxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Alley, Van Allen, O'Shea. Today is your day, your mountain is waiting. And your mountain is waiting, so get on your way.